How is VisiPep's Wire EDM changing the industry today? Vero has years of leading the industry in Wire EDM programming, yet uses a modern interface with an easy learning curve and help menu. The VisiPep's Wire module is built on top of a full CAD CAM package for the tooling industry. This includes a full 3D model recognition for two axis LAN and taper, as well as four axis features. It has simplified tag and joint creation as well as removal. This also includes full toolpath simulation and verification as well as a comprehensive machine and post processor database. Here we have a 3D model that I'm going to run feature recognition on. What run recognition does is it evaluates the 3D geometry as a whole and builds features that I can burn with my wire machine. Here this built a variable land and taper four dowel holes and four screw holes. I'm going to select the variable taper and add an operation to this. We have multiple operations by default, including six different slug retention types. We also have our vast library of our post processors and machine database. By selecting on the Mitsubishi, I can set up machine parameters that will allow me to automatically throw in technology based on a Mitsubishi control. After this operation gets done building, you'll see that based on the circle in the middle of my feature, it picked this up as an automatic threading point. The toolpath highlighted in red, you'll see also follows the contour of my shape for the taper that was built inside of the 3D model. In this instance, we have a four axis model that has varying taper inside of this middle pocket. Again, I'm going to use recognition to evaluate the 3D model to allow the software to automatically build my feature for me to wire burn. Under the setup, you'll see the four axis feature was built using recognition. So now I can automatically add in an operation, but in this instance, we'll use a template, something that we've already built. This way, the technology comes in as we previously programmed if you get into doing repetitive parts and sizes. Based on this being a four axis, it automatically found the circle found inside the geometry is my automatic threading point. Instead of me leading onto the radius of the sidewall, I can instead manually choose a new starting location for my upper and lower nozzle. Thank you for watching. 